Hi, I'm Summit Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols with this week's edition of Josh's Weather Academy, a segment where I take some of your weather questions and take a deeper dive into all the Western New York weather wise. On April 8th, the sun and the moon will align over Western New York, encompassing everyone in our region in what is the path of totality. The show will be amazing and will even come with a few surprises. A total solar eclipse is one of the rarest and most remarkable events in nature. And for the first time since 1925, Western New York will get to have this amazing experience. The moon's shadow will completely cover up the disk of the sun just before 3.30 p.m. on April 8th. This won't be repeated in the United States for another 20 years. Now, besides the incredible display itself, you will likely also start to notice nature's reaction to the eclipse. And some of those reactions may surprise you. As the eclipse is taking place and the darkness descends upon us, the temperature will drop. That's probably not too surprising, but watch the reaction of the natural world. In the last total eclipse in 2017, scientists found that when the sun vanished, insects, birds, and plants seemed to enter into something approaching a nocturnal pattern. Birds may chirp a bit more as the eclipse begins and then during totality go completely silent. In an eclipse from 1932, people reported owls hooting, pigeons returning to roost, and other behaviors that suggested animals believing that night was approaching. You may also notice flowers closing up and crickets chirping like they do at night. You may even notice your dog cowering or exhibiting other fearful behaviors. Now remember, it's never safe to look directly at the sun, which is why it's absolutely imperative to have a pair of these ISO certified eclipse glasses to view this event of a lifetime. And make sure to be on the lookout for nature's reaction to this spectacular event. Got a weather question that you'd like answered? Email me at weather at wkbw.com and your weather question could be the subject of Josh's Weather Academy. I'm 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols. Stay weather-wise.